today I'm, we're going to read Curious George Goes to a Chocolate Factory. That's nice. This is George. George was a little, was a good little monkey. No, he's very curious. That's why he's called Curious George. One day, George went adrift for a drive with his friend, the man with the yellow hat. That's not a name, right? <laughs> Look, George, the man said, there's a store in that chocolate factory up ahead. Let's stop for a treat. George loved chocolates. Inside the store, boxes of chocolates were stacked everywhere. But the man with the yellow hat found his favorites right away. George, he said, wait here while I bury these why I buy these? And please stay out of trouble. George looked around in the store. He saw a chocolate covered cherries. And a fudge flavored lollipop. A chocolate bunny caught his eye. And then something else caught his eye. What was all those people looking at? George was curious. He climbed up to get a better look. Through the window, he saw lots of trees with little fun dots. What were all those fun dots? George was curious. He found the door that led to the other side of the window. A little brown dots were chocolate. Of course. A tour guide was showing a group to a group of people how to tell what what was inside the chocolates by looking at the swales on top. This little swale means Fudge. This one says that caramel is inside, and this wiggle is for marshmallow. This is a squiggle, squiggle for a tickle. This one is for no good. This sideways rail is for orange bluff, and this one is for George favorite banana cream. If you have a copy, you'll look at this. Um, I like this one. It stands for banana cream, which is George's favorite. George followed the tour group until they came to a back lockery overlooking a room where the chocolates are made. Down below, busy workers pick the candy off of the machine and put them in boxes. Why would they put them in boxes? Because they give them it to them in the boxes? These were machines that made chocolates with the swales on top. The chocolates came out of machines or long belts. But how did they get the, their swales? Do you know? Go ask your dad or mom. Or pop, which is your dad. Or mom, which is your mom. George was curious. Look, this one looks like a person, right dad? Oh, 
to the machine. Look. Look at it. I think he was turning, if he turned the black stuff on, just peeked inside. He's trying to see. He's trying to see what was making the swells when all of a sudden. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think happened? Just guess. What is the chocolates began coming out faster and faster. They spin by him so quickly they seem to be running on legs of their own. Quick, bring more boxes, yelled the man with the tall white hat. What happened? Nobody knew what happened. And everyone was so busy that no one saw George. No one noticed George. The workers began to fall behind and the candy began to fall off the end of the belt. Save the chocolates, you're the man with the tall white hat. Meanwhile, George saw one of his favorites was by. Try to catch it, the, the banana cream chocolate, but it was too fast. He chased it into the end of the belt. At the end of the belt, a pile of chocolates were going taller and taller. George had never seen so many chocolates. And as he searched for the banana cream, he put the others in empty boxes. George was a fast worker. Some noticed and yelled, bring that monkey more boxes. He's helping to catch up. And all the chocolates made it to boxes, but no more chocolates fell on the floor. Just then, George and the workers all were all caught up. The tools down ran with the with the man with the yellow hat. Get that monkey out of here! He yelled. He's wanting our chocolates. But this little monkey saved the chocolates. It's explained the workers. That's the man with the tall white hat. Said the George. You may have caused some trouble, but you're a speedy little monkey. You deserve a big box of candy for all your help. George was glad he was not in trouble, but he did not take the chocolates. Back in the parking lot, the workers waved goodbye as George and his friend got into their yellow-blue cars. George, are you sure you don't want any chocolates before we leave? Asked the man with the yellow hat. George, for sure. The end. Don't. Forget to like and subscribe to see more of our videos.